Breakfast is called the most important meal of the day. Fast food companies are taking new steps for a bite. They're fighting hard over the nearly $50 billion a year morning market. Taco Bell introduced its waffle taco last week with an ad full of people named Ronald McDonald. Now McDonald's is promising free coffee and Starbucks is bringing some breakfast food back to its menu. Abby Klassen is the editor of Advertising Age. Good morning to you. Good morning. How genius was that Ronald McDonald oh, ad? Oh, that was a that great was so ad. Great. I know. But why has it become such a battleground at breakfast? Well, breakfast is really one of the major growth areas for fast food companies, really one of the only growth areas. So it's uh, grown for the past four years consecutively. I think it's about 21% of all restaurant visits now. That's up 3% year over year, lunch and dinner, down 1%. Mm. So they're all eyeing this as the next great growth area. Well, I love breakfast. I don't know about you guys, but I do love it. And I understand now Starbucks, after announcing they had some fancy pastries and stuff, is actually bringing back some of the old stuff that everybody still craves. That's right. People are very habitual in their breakfast time, you know, rituals. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so, you know, you get addicted to the thing that you eat every day. Think about it. How often do you eat the same thing for breakfast versus like lunch and dinner? You know, we mix it up at lunch mm -hmm. and dinner. But breakfast, you know, so you Star eat the same thing every day. So Starbucks is bringing back the pumpkin That's right. loaf. Pumpkin stuff. loaf, lemon, iced lemon cake, I mm. think. And uh, um, there's one other one. Uh, <laughs> but you say that Starbucks. I can't keep track. <laughs> but you say that Starbucks actually started this battle. How so? Well, it's interesting. M McDonald's was actually the first one to introduce breakfast back in the mid-70s, you know, and grew a really huge business out of breakfast. Um, then others started uh, taking notice. So Starbucks, which became the place you went for your morning coffee, introduced some food. And McDonald's mm. saw that, felt a little threatened, so then they introduced higher-end coffee, which, by the way, for the next two weeks, you can get a free coffee at McDonald's as part of a promotion. Now Taco Bell is trying to get in on that turf and, and launching the waffle taco, which yeah. I don't know how you guys feel about waffle tacos, but it sounds kind of disgusting and actually somewhat intriguing at the same time. <laughs> yeah. um, so so what same. happened to the healthy food option? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, that right? That what did question, happen? Charlie. It's funny, yeah. when you look at the calories for these breakfast items, um, some things you might not expect to show up, you know, near the near the the lower end on calories do. So, um, for example, uh, an egg McMuffin is actually not that bad. Two hundred ninety calories know. in an egg McMuffin. <laughs> I told you, I know, right? Yeah, I told you to it's know. because it's getting smaller. That's why. <laughs> well, it might be getting smaller. They also introduced an egg an egg white version of the egg McMuffin. Uh -oh. I think because they were feeling the heat from there's, Starbucks. There's yeah. a healthy okay. option: the egg white, egg white egg, egg McMuffin, McMuffin right? Abby Classen. Thank you. Abby. Thank Thank you. you.